Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, as I posted, Google rolled out Chrome version 114, which is now the latest stable release. And as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, one of the new features rolling out is Google's new password manager, which is actually one of the new features that's part of the Chrome refresh for 2023, which is now making its way from preview into the stable version. And uh, um, as I mentioned in that video, um, although it is listed as a new feature for the stable version, Google is pushing out the new password manager using a controlled phased rollout. So for most, we are not seeing the new password manager yet in the stable version because it is rolling out using a controlled rollout. But um, when it does arrive, it will appear in the main menu um, with a Google password manager entry. Now, although I haven't received the password manager yet, um, we can always just head over to Chrome Canary and this is exactly what the password manager will be all about. It will appear in your main menu as Google Password Manager. Now, what I thought we could do today, um, because Google has recently posted a keyword blog post with a couple of the new features uh, that the new password manager does include to help us easily manage um, passwords in Chrome. So if you want to stick around and are using the password manager and would like to know about a couple of the new features regarding the password manager, then just to collate those, collate those into the purpose of today's video. Now, the first um, and what I would consider to maybe be the key highlight is that if you click on that entry now, uh, the password manager opens up um, on a dedicated homepage now in Google Chrome on desktop, which Google says makes it easier to review all your saved online credentials or change your password settings. And uh, um, this is not the case in the old version. So if we head back and we just head back to the stable version and we head back to the so-called old password manager, um, the old password manager um, is part of the autofill and passwords page. So there's a couple of extra clicks that are required, so to speak. But as mentioned now, um, with the new password manager, it has its own dedicated page. And if you do have passwords on the page, um, they will be listed here. I don't because I don't use Chrome Canary as a main browser. And you can also add passwords manually. And something else you can do is you can do a password checkup for any compromised passwords and any other um, uh, glitches regarding your passwords. And it also has a new dedicated settings page with some extra settings. And um, over and above that, um, there will also be a new tab here at the top where you can also create a desktop shortcut for Google Password Manager, which basically means that um, it can be accessed from your desktop. And you can also create a PWA with a desktop, um, with that shortcut for your desktop. Now, um, I'm not seeing it because I haven't um, got any passwords. And if you are not seeing it, you can also just head to the settings. And yeah, you'll see add a shortcut uh, to get you a quicker add a shortcut to Google Password Manager. So if you click on that, it will then ask you to um, add Google Password Manager as a shortcut. And if you want it to open up as its own web app, its own progressive web app, you can just click on Open as tabbed window, install, and there we go. Uh, the Password Manager is now uh, basically acting like a native app on your desktop and is now uh, and can be now be used as a PWA or a web app. And you can also see that it places a shortcut on your desktop. And you can also pin that shortcut to your taskbar. And I have actually posted on um, creating a password manager shortcut more in detail. And I'll leave a link to that video down below. And I actually think this is a nice um, addition, especially if you are using the password manager on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's how you can create a desktop shortcut. And by the way, if you want to remove that, it's very simple. You just head to your apps and you just right click on that and you can remove that from Chrome and that shortcut then has been removed and that PWA has been removed. Now moving on to another new feature, um, they've added more authentication methods on desktop and I'm just going to use a screenshot for this because it will just help me cut to the chase for the purpose of today's video. Now authentication was previously only available on mobile and biometric authentication now uh, is rolling out as part of the new password manager. And um, as we can see in the screenshot provided, um, if you enable this feature, you can require an additional layer of security before Chrome autofills your password. And that can um, be using fingerprint recognition or facial recognition or any other methods that are supported by your computer's operating system. So more authentication methods now are rolling out to the password manager for Chrome on desktop. And for the next uh, feature, um, I'm just going to also just cut to the chase once again using a screenshot. 
and uh, um, you can now save notes about your accounts. And I actually think this is a nice addition. It's a simple addition, but a very handy addition. So um, if you have uh, multiple logins for one website, as an example, and you need to remember a PIN number um, for your password, as an example, you can now save a note uh, for that password. And as we can see in the screenshot provided, um, on your computer, if you click the key icon in the Omnibox and the address bar, uh, when you're logging into a website, um, you can also now easily review the notes you've saved for each account, and that's found here at the bottom. And I think this notes is a simple, but as mentioned, I think a very handy addition. And something else regarding notes, if we just head back to the actual password manager, um, if we add a password manually, you can actually also add a note. And this will apply to any other password you have saved as well. If you go into that password settings, you'll also be able to add a note. And as mentioned, I think that's a nice move. So you can save notes about your, your accounts. And then the last new feature, just to mention for the purpose of today's video, uh, is you can now import from other password managers. So for this, if we head to the settings once again, yeah, you can see import passwords. So you can import passwords um, from other password managers. You can just click on that, select file. And as an example, if you have a .csv file with passwords saved, you can just click on that, click on open, and that then that will import them directly into Chrome on your computer. So that's just a couple of the new features, as mentioned, uh, regarding uh, Google Chrome's new password manager, which, as mentioned, um, is part of version 114 and is currently rolling out to the stable version using a controlled phased rollout. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.